Hey Pisces and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly love reading for February 1st through the 15th. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These messages will not resonate with everybody, so just take what does and leave what don't. Let's see what the divine has for you today. All right, the hangman and judgment just came out. Let me shuffle for a minute. I haven't used this deck for a while, so I need to get my energy back on the cards. I apologize. All right, spirit and angels, what messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, first card out is the five of wands in reverse. Second card out is justice. Whoa. <laughs> lot of big cards here. All right, yours is bot of the deck and shared energy between you and a partner is the tower clarified by the knight of pentacles and the queen of wands. Your guys's overall theme of the reading is the ace of wands. Next deck or next card out is the three of wands. So manifesting blessings coming your way. Let's see what we all got here for messages. All right. So something is happening. Something is going on that is bringing this whole new wave of passion. This whole, uh, this energy of the full moon, this eclipse energy, it is eclipsing those out of your life that need to be taken out. Um, and, and in its place, it is bringing in new ideas, new, um, you're starting to see a whole new world unfold in front of you. You're starting to see the way things could be, that you want it to be. Um, you are having a hard time getting away from something that was not working out for you, something that was not for your greatest good. But now you're starting to see something new, something unfolding, something exciting, something passionate, something that you are passionate about. And um, it's going to bring in some new, exciting things for you guys in the next two weeks. Um, your guys' have shared energy and uh, between you and uh, the person that you are connected to. So the tower was the first card out. So this, like I said, the eclipse is eclipsing people out of your life that need to be gone. Uh, it is shaking you up. It is shaken up uh, the foundation of what you've been standing on. But um, this is something that you have wanted. This is something you planted the seeds of intention long ago. And it is now here. You are feeling stuck. You are feeling trapped. So the universe did step in and help you uh, bring down something that was not meant to stand any longer. Um, after this tower comes down, and rids you of anything that is not for your highest good. You have somebody who is of a very high, very high vibration coming in for you. This person is very passionate, very loving, wears her heart on her sleeve, would go to bat for you any day of the week. And not only that, you like having this person around. You like spending time with them. There's a lot of passion and connection between the two of you. They're very good looking. People are drawn to them um, because of their warm heart. And um, for, for a lot of you, this person's good looks, their charm, their witty. This person is kind of the whole package. This person is also very connected to the divine. Uh, this person is very uh, intuitive, uh, psychic, um, very superstitious as well, I just heard. But... Um, they've been wanting to come in and make you this offer. They've been wanting to come in and offer you something uh, to to begin to invest in each other. Uh, they had to take their time, however, because they were waiting for this tower to come down in your life or they had to wait for the tower to come down in their life. One way or another, uh, Pisces, they are here for you and they are here to offer you 
something new, something uh, tangible. This could be you, Pisces, um, as a lot of you are very psychic, very intuitive, and they are coming forward to make the offer to you, or this is the other person and, and they are just looking fabulous coming your way. Either way, it's amazing. Okay, so where you guys are coming from, you had to get out of a situation uh, that there was a lot of conflict here. Uh, there was a, a lot of conflict within yourself. You didn't know whether you should stay, whether you should go, whether you should um, tr keep fighting for this relationship. There was just a lot of uh, things that you had to work through personally before you were able to let go of this connection and be okay with this tower coming down. Um, there was also a lot of people that were meddling in your business, a lot of outside um, people trying to um, control the situation. And it just turned into chaos um, because nobody should be controlling your life anyways. But there was a lot of, um, a lot of inner conflict that you had to to defeat on your own. No else could help with that. That, that was all within you. But you, are, you did get that, something of this. And now you have in this position of seeking uh, justice, finding balance in your life again. No longer um, fighting for this karmic connection uh, that you are getting out of, but just wanting somebody who equally contributes to a relationship as you do where you don't have to do all the work, where you don't have to worry about this person lying to you because the justice has the sword of truth in one hand and the scales in the other. So you're just seeking somebody that, that will speak the truth and contribute to the relationship in a balanced, fair way as you will to them. This is also, um, for some of you, you are getting legally divorced from somebody and that is the tower that had to come down um, you're no longer fighting for this connection. They're no longer fighting to fighting this divorce. Um, and let's get some clarifiers here. What do I want to use? Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's use the witches, the witches tarot. All right. There we go. I gotta run them through my sage here. Just one second. Spirit guides and angels, please bless these cards and bless the message that comes through them. Okay. So um, let's see why justice is here in your current position. Why does Pisces have justice here? It could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio, um, a Virgo. Yep, look at that. Being clarified by the tower in reverse. So somebody was fighting this uh, divorce. Somebody was fighting this ending with the tower in reverse, somebody didn't want it to fall. Um, so with that resistance, the universe had to come in and help give this tower a little pushover um, because somebody was fighting this, but um, that's no longer going to be the case. Um, it is going to, this uh, separation, this divorce is going to come out in your favor because the bottom of the deck is the six of wands. So with it being in the upright and the six of wands at the bottom, it is going to come out benefiting you are going to be benefiting um, from this situation um, because you could have been worried about it, worried about the outcome's going to be possibly. Well, why not? The ace ones on that pinnacle. Look at that. This is spirit's advice for you. So, um, spirit's advice for you is to move forward when you get through this uh, justice, when you get through the situation that is um, calling for justice to be served. Um, Follow your heart, follow your passion, follow what you want, and you will find abundance, success. This is a, an idea about a company as well. For some of you, you want to start a new business. This is a new passionate idea that is very going to be very, very successful, very, very financially successful. This is your gift of, from the universe for following your heart, following your passion, getting that spark of an idea. Um that uh, your angels are helping you with. Uh, this is going to come in the form of a thought, you know, a thought, an idea, and it's going to just give you a whole new sense of direction of where you want to your life to go. Um, I'm, I'm getting all excited just talking about it because 
the excitement that you're going to feel for this new beginning is just simply amazing. You were fearing this tower coming down, but what you didn't realize up to this point was you feared the tower coming down of what you would lose, but what you are about to gain by letting that tower fall totally, totally outweighs keeping that tower, keeping that situation where the tower needed to fall anyways. You are about to be blessed in so many ways, Pisces. I am so excited for you. Your outside influences are the king of wands. So there could be a, a male fire sign coming into your life that's going to help you uh, get this off the ground, whether it be a lover, whether it be a financial backer, whether it be, you know, a dad, an uncle, a brother, this person is going to help these dreams come true. And you've got the king and queen of wands here, Pisces. Um, it doesn't have to be a fire sign, as y'all know. It's just they carry the uh, fire sign qualities, full of passion, love, desire, and movement. These guys take movement. And you have the of wands. is fine, cup. It's good by the pentacles. This. Most definitely with justice coming out on top of it. With the four of pentacles, you are worrying about money. You're not going to have to worry about money. This guy is going to come in and help you with this divorce um, and give you this new beginning for some of you. For some of you, this person is an outside influence. And this is the person that was emotionally blocking or that was emotionally closed off that you are getting a divorce from. Or Pisces, this could be your partner because this is an outside influence. So your partner that you were waiting to return for some of you, they had to have the tower fall in their life and they have to get away from a fire sign. So I hope that's clear. But this person, for some of you, um, whether it be your spouse or a person you're waiting on spouse, they didn't want the divorce because they had the justice in reverse clarifying it. They didn't want it, but it's happening anyways because it's in the current position um, in the upright. For some of you, if you are the one needing a divorce, this could be your lawyer as well. Wow, so many messages coming in right there. Pisces, this is an amazing reading though. Where this is headed is the high priestess. Um, spiritual knowing, spiritual knowledge, spiritual know-how. Um, this person knows a lot, but speaks little. Uh, you don't, you can't learn anything when you're talking, but when you're listening, you learn a whole bunch. And this person knows more than what they're letting on. Um, and this is you Pisces. Uh, you have a lot of spiritual knowledge that you're not putting out there to the world that, you know, you're very intuitive. Like I was saying up here, this person is the same person. Like I was saying up there, this person, you guys are very spiritually connected, psychic, uh, have a lot of intuitive gifts and you're not quite opening up about that, but you're going to have an awakening. I guarantee you, this is all connected. What is heading for you, your spiritual idea, your form of a thought Pisces, it's going to bring you much abundance. It is connected to the spiritual realm. It is connected to your spiritual gifts. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have chills all up and down my spine. I'm so excited for you guys. And to me, the high priestess, the hermit, and uh, temperance are the three most spiritual cards in the deck. And then you have the king and the queen of wands with the ace of wands. You're going to um, create a spark, a new idea, form of abundance, spiritual realm with your new partner. Yep. Clarifying the high priestess is the fool. Take that leap of faith. Believe in yourself. Believe in your gifts. Believe in your ideas. Believe in yourself. Because you have what it takes to create something amazing that's going to benefit the collective. And it's going to bring you in an abundance as well. So take that leap of faith. You could also be connected to a Aries, a fire sign. And that is your divine partner. 
a fire sign because we have all these fires and the king and queens. But, uh, yeah, believe in yourself. That's the most important thing. This is what is you're heading towards is this brand new beginning, this leap of faith, using your spiritual gifts to create something. This is spirit's advice. I mean, come on now. And your guys' overall outcome is the hermit going within. And after you get out of this uh, situation that you are in with the justice, you're going to go within. You're going to retreat. You're going to go deep. Find that inner light that the divine has lit within you. And that is when you're going to get your spark. That's when you're going to get your idea. When you are uh, reflecting and going deep within to find your own inner light. That's me. You will get your idea of where to go from there, what to do, um, who you're going to be, uh, what you're going to do in this world. You're going to continue to collect. Why is the hermit here? Pisces. This is so amazing. So, so in bombs. Uh, hello. How can I do Is the hermit. I I was just a total loss for words right there because I was looking at the beauty of this card. The hermit clarified by the star. The divine timing is now. Your divine partner is here for you. Your divine or your soul's purpose is ready to begin. It's time to go within. It's time to look at your inner light. Find that spark that is going to create your future what is going to be your way of contributing to co the collective in the form of your soul's purpose and then believe in it believe in yourself take that leap of faith you have what it takes to do this you have what it takes your wishes oops your wishes your dreams everything is about ready to come true for you because the stars are aligned it's also my timing card in the time of Aquarius, which is where we are now. You are going to be given this gift from spirit for you to, for you to give to the back collective, the form of your soul's purpose. Just a um, sneak peek into the bottom of your clarifying deck. You also have the hermit. It's time. It's time to begin your soul's purpose. The hermit follows a journey and it follows the journey even through the dark simply by following his own inner light and the light of the divine that not everybody can see and everybody can see the light of the divine and only you can see your inner light. So the hermit follows on that spiritual path. That's your soul's purpose, your journey that you hear people talking about walking. Behind it is the emperor and the next card out is the empress. You and your divine partner are ready. You just have to get through this tower moment. You have to get through this uh, justice that you are dealing with. And you are about ready to, oh my goodness. You are about ready to take on the most beautiful spiritual journey that you could even imagine. You are going to be blessed with so much from the divine that I don't even think you can fathom where your journey is going to lead you. I don't think you can even begin to believe how wonderful this is and how, oh my goodness, I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know what to say. And that doesn't happen very often because I like to talk. All right, let's get your uh, three prediction cards for the next two weeks. I can only imagine. I am using the after tarot for your prediction, but after reading like that, holy shit, who needs a prediction? Start going, start walking on that journey. <laughs> this eclipse is doing an amazing thing for you, helping you purge out what no longer needs to be there and helping bring in your soul's purpose, your divine partner, and just bliss and happiness and uh, creating something brand new. This is taking your ideas and creating, 
creating whatever it is that you want to create and be successful um, is, is so much beauty. It is taking the world by storm and doing whatever you want with it. It is the highest vibration in the deck. It is reaching the highest level of, uh, of spiritual awakeness, of higher level of consciousness that you can attain as a soul in a human experience. You are there. You are going to birth a new idea. That's what I just heard. In the next two weeks, you, Pisces, will birth a new idea. You will raise that idea in the form of your soul's purpose, and it will be so successful, and you will be vibrating at the highest level, like I said, that you can as a soul in a, in a human, oops, as a soul in a human um, experience. All right, Spirit, can I get two more cards for our Pisces? This is just so amazing. The Wheel of Fortune. Everything that you want is at your fingertips and it is coming in for you now with the Wheel of Fortune. This is the ebb and flow of life. This is the life, death, and rebirth process. You are about to birth your future and it is going to be a beautiful beautiful abundant one and there's that queen of wands again finding success this is somebody who is so loving and compassionate and i said it all at the beginning when she came out um this is just amazing you are going to if this resonates with you you need to let me know in two weeks what is going on because, wow, what I am seeing for you is just utter, utterly amazing. I mean, it doesn't get better than the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Wands. You are passionate, loving, devoted. Uh, everybody wants to be you. You're getting everything that you want and you are creating the life of your dreams and it's all coming true. And you even have the star card there. It is all coming true for you, Pisces. All the hard work, all the 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 sadness of the tower, the the rough emotions, the hard work of healing those inner hurts. Um, it's all here for you. And I am so happy for you guys. It's gonna be an amazing, amazing month for you guys. Pisces, and you deserve it. So trust in yourself, believe in yourself, believe in your gifts, um, and do what you can to create success, create a life for yourself that you so, so much deserve. Um, because it's all going to be at your, at your disposal. Anything you want to create right now, it's going to be successful. But in that time of hermit is when you're going to be awakened, when you're going to get that spark, that idea of creation of what you are meant to be doing. Um, but you know, you have those gifts. So have faith in yourself and take that leap of faith. I send you all healing, love and light, and may God bless your journey every step of the way.